Hello, active traders, and welcome to Top Trading Setups with myself, Ken Calhoun, and my longtime colleague, Steve Nissen from CandleCharts.com. Steve, it's great to have you here with us today. Great, Ken. Thanks. Look forward to working with you on our upcoming uh, video webcast and recording. Right. Now, Steve and I look forward to sharing with you just a taste, a preview of what you'll be learning. As always, all information is for educational use only. I think one of the things traders will especially value from our Top Trading Setups training is that it combines both of our patterns with especially strong setups. You'll be learning how to combine candles with Western Technicals, advanced tips for traders of all experience levels, winning charts and top patterns, the ones that we both like the best and how to make sense of them, how to create your personal watch list. You know, so many traders struggle with figuring out what to trade and how to develop a specific trading plan, and you'll be learning how to do that in this training. You'll also learn clearly explained entries and exits, how to enter and exit your trades uh, without confusion, without uncertainty. Also, you'll learn how to manage risk and stops. For all the patterns we'll be covering, you'll be learning how to manage risk and stops intelligently, like a professional trader, all in service of a personal action plan that will help you develop to help you make the most of our training and top trading setups. One effective way to combine Eastern and Western technicals is to do things like combining a hammer where it's hammering out support at a 100 simple moving average line, which is exactly where our S&P found support just a couple of weeks ago. Right, and one of the great things about candlesticks, or I shouldn't say great, but one of the subtle things you're going to be picking up at our webcast is uh, little nuances kind of beyond the traditional understanding of candles, or at least mo how most people understand them. So. Our eye will go to the real body that is the fat part of the candlestick line, but shadows are also very important. So, as Ken mentioned, it's a hammer, it's a candlestick line with a long lower shadow. But if we look back to, let's say, late June, with that black real body, let's say it looks like around June 28th. Uh, keep on going back there, right? Next one, next uh, to the right, yeah. So, see, right around the 2410 area, although it's a long black real body, notice that we had a rejection of lower price levels with a lower shadow. Well, then look, if we bought there, say 2410, have a protective stop under, say, the round number 24, and we have a target to, say, 2490. There's good profit potential in that, that potential trade. Right, good point. Let's start off with the classic candlestick reversal pattern. And here you can see a bullish engulfing at a low following a downtrend that then recovered all the way to the 50 simple moving average line. Now, that's an important thing to notice. You know, you may learn how to trade the pivot, but also know when to trail in a stop because here we have a bearish engulfing. So we have a bullish engulfing for a long and a bearish engulfing to sell if it loses support over here. And that type of thinking can really help traders be on the right side of their trades because they're combining Western technical patterns uh, like the 50 simple moving averages and exit target along with the entry signal generated by a bullish engulfing and then the subsequent exit with the bearish engulfing. Uh, Steve, any quick thoughts on this one? Sure, and this is why the combination of Ken's work and my work is so powerful. Uh, you know, Ken had mentioned the 50-period moving average, and that's something he, he you know, bases on his on the experience, real-world experience. So we do have a candlestick confirming that. Now, notice a couple of sessions before that red candle, uh, right, uh, getting more than halfway into the white candle. That's a potential bearish reversal signal, a dark cloud cover. But... Why didn't we exit there? Well, adding Ken's strategy of waiting for a potential resistance near that moving average, that's when we would be taking some profits uh, because we have a Western signal confirming an Eastern signal, whereas that dark cloud cover, yes, it was a candle signal, but candle signals really should not be viewed, viewed in isolation. It, uh, their synergy, their power is really increased by combining with Western technicals. So, for example, in that bullish engulfing pattern, on that uh, empty real body, we could see that was a very high volume session. And in fact, the high volume session the day before on that sell off, you could have viewed it as a potential selling climax. And then that white, uh, the empty or white real body, very strong. That's the you know highest volume candle in quite a while, showing the bulls really came in very aggressively. And that was an important bottom reversal signal. One of the things that really helps traders make better winning trade decisions is to co combine the best of the candle patterns with Western technicals for breakout continuations. So, for example, we saw a hammer here, right, hammered out a bottom right at the 100 simple moving average. It made a bullish cut breakout above 
earlier highs here, and I, one of my favorite patterns is to look at a large green candle at the right side of a congestion or a bullish cup. It looks like the letter U comes out to new highs. We've got a high volume candle with large whole real body, and then it just continued to run on up point after point going all the way from 16 to 24 for a huge A point move to the upside. And being able to identify not only the first entry with Stephen Mai's training that, that you'll be getting when you register for this, uh, how to combine that with things like breakout candle patterns or momentum plays as they start to work out, and then develop a trading plan based on that analysis. Um, Steve, anything stand out from the voice of the candles on this chart? Yeah, Ken, and there's my, one of my all-time favorite strategies uh, to, about breakouts, trading breakouts. I see many examples of it in here. It's fabulous. I use it all the time for my own trading and actually investing. Uh, but it's a little beyond the scope of this brief uh, introductory video. But we will be looking at this chart in detail, and I'll discuss my all-time favorite Western signal um, at the actual webcast. Right, right. When you look at the profit potential of getting it right, the numbers are there. Learn how to develop a personal trading plan for yourself that makes a lot of sense. So whether using horizontal support and resistance lines, one of the biggest challenges that traders have is avoiding false breakouts. And we will teach all of you how to do that. A comment from an earlier trader uh, comment was, false breakouts are the biggest challenge. We're excited to see what tips Steve and I have to help you have more profitable trades. Avoiding false breakouts by combining what Steve and I will teach you is going to be one of the other takeaways from this session. Steve, now here is a chart on a 15-day, 60-minute candlestick chart in an uptrend continuation. And you'll all be learning about how this works. We have a bullish cup with a large candle. Let's look at the lows that were made back um, on August 21st. Classic bullish engulfing pattern. So while we ultimately had that breakout from the pattern that Ken mentioned, the first sign of a reversal was actually at the lows at that bullish engulfing pattern, which one confirmed support from the prior session, and two also became support, uh, you know, later during that day, later in the day. So one could have actually, if you know, one's looking for reversals, could have gotten in there. Uh, and for those, those for those looking for bottom reversals, and for those looking for breakouts, use Ken's strategy to buy on the breakout. So what we're going to be doing at this webcast, which will be made into a recording, uh, is show you how to apply both strategies covering both reversals and breakouts. And then you'll be learning how to get in, say, using a pivot signal from the candles and then scale in. You know, if you got in, say, a few hundred shares there, you could add to the trade up here once you have a confirmation up in new highs. You'll be learning exactly, step by step, how to do that with a variety of different patterns that Steve and I will be covering for you exclusively in the upcoming top trading setups session that we'll be doing. So, Steve, I look forward to training the traders and for all of you watching this video in years to come, uh, this will be an extremely useful session to learn how to combine the best of Steve and my patterns together to give you the very top trading setups out there combining candles with Western technicals, primarily for swing trades. We'll do a little bit on intraday, but it'll be at least 80% swing and longer term trades as well. So it's useful for traders of all experience levels. And Steve, I certainly look forward to doing this session with you. Same here. And this is just a small sample of what we'll be doing at the webcast, you know, pulling up charts and going back and forth with our best trading strategies. So the uh, attendees can apply the very same strategies we've been using for decades. Uh, very next, ne very next trading session. Sounds good. Well, best wishes to all of you for trading success. Goodbye, and uh, thanks, Steve, for being here. Look forward to the...